I don't even think I tried to get up or keep going. I just lay there and I just turned around and reached around to my Achilles. It was my right Achilles too, which is my strong leg. I mean, I thought a million things. I thought my career was over. I thought, I can't believe this has happened in the Olympics. I'm gonna DNF. I think when I'm in the wheelchair is where it starts to sink in. I'm almost covering my face, I think, because, yeah, I'm probably embarrassed. And I'm just, I'm really sad at that point. But it was hard. It was really hard. <laughs> And I actually just said to Ryan when I was on the phone, I just said, you know, the inevitable's happened. Um, let's start a family. And he said, yep, yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. So that was pretty special. I don't know how we'd do what we do if I didn't have you at home. Like, I feed Why all Why do you only say that when there's cameras rolling? I say that to you all the time. You know it. Once I, I made a decision and I spoke to Ryan and we decided what we wanted to do moving forward, um, firstly, we had to get home, quarantine, but have my surgery as soon as possible. So over the next few days, I didn't sleep much. It was hard to move, hard to shower. So it was a really dark few days. And luckily for me, the AOC just really stepped up. Like, organising with uh, the hospital and the surgeon the whole time with who I'd see as soon as I got back. All that I had to focus on now was, was healing and, and falling pregnant, and that was really exciting for me. I'd always wanted a family, um, and that was actually the thing that constantly kept me going. I had a chat with my sports doctor and my physio, and we used to joke that when your body is completely stuffed and you've got no other options. You know, having a kid is the next best thing because you've always wanted to have a baby and the hormones that your body produces as a mother help heal your body. Here's the throw. Big throw. <laughs> she wants. She wants. <laughs> I actually felt bad telling my strength and conditioning coach that I was pregnant because we were just going in leaps and bounds with my Achilles. I was back running by I think week 15, and I was just gaining my strength back so quickly. So when I had to come and tell him I was pregnant, I felt like I let him down. I have no doubt, I don't have scientific proof, but I have no doubt that growing my little boy inside me, one, kept me mentally so positive, and two, I think it definitely helped heal because I was almost like a miracle. There was no issues. I kind of had an epiphany that my track days are probably over. My steeplechase days are definitely over but I want to keep running. I've always wanted to go the roads, I just didn't know when the right time was because I loved the steeplechase so much. My heart is on the roads, I want to run the marathon, I want to run the marathon at the Olympics. I'll go out on a run now and I'll be thinking about it, I'll be, whether I'm thinking about a race to qualify or I'm thinking about imagining myself in the Olympic marathon, there's just so much visualisation that I do already and it's such a fun lifestyle, it's, it's definitely more family friendly. I can target two big marathons now and head overseas for two weeks and, and do a marathon and then come back home and do all my base training here. I can have my family, I can continue running. Everything just feels good again and I still love to run as much as I ever have. To become a four-time Olympic athlete, it's, it's not necessarily that I've made four Olympics, it would be what I've overcome to make my four. Uh, making the first Olympics was, yeah, one of those pinch me moments. My second Olympics was where I pretty much accomplished everything I set out to do and it was one of those dream championships. My third Olympics was a heartbreaking one, uh, but a sliding doors moment. It hasn't necessarily been a really long goal because Tokyo wasn't that long ago, but it's been such a strong goal and it's been the, the core motivator for me every single morning when I get up and, and head out for these long sessions. I'm not even saying I'm retiring after I make the fourth Olympics, it's just that will really just be the ultimate prize for me, making that fourth Olympics.